see you're practicing. Someday I hope to guide in planes. <laughs> I didn't know you'd landed already. You're not due till 9.46. Flag got delayed. <laughs> God, you're beautiful. Well, thank you, Captain Roger, but I'm not sure you should be back here. This is the women's changing room. <laughs> you must carry a lot of clout. Once you pop, you can't stop. I don't think you should get so close to me. I got a whole new bottle of Corvallis. Look, I think you should really get out of here. I feel uncomfortable having you here. <laughs> I got 45 minutes. No one knows I'm here. Don't you have to do a safety inspection on your plane before uh, you take off? No, there's a new... They made an announcement at the airport. I love sex, but... I love sex, but... <laughs> oh, Tamerlene. Stop it. Let's have sex, but... No. No. I told you once before, I will not have sex butt with you. <laughs> or any other man. Any oh, other man. Oh, you know how to hurt a man. You know, the first time you ever asked me to have sex butt. <laughs> Don't you remember what I said oh, that how time? Oh, I forget? I said it way, is it always your octopus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tamberline. If my wife ever found out the love that we share, <laughs> we've never shared love. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sometimes a love that's deep and never shows its face is stronger than the love that do. <laughs> Wanna have sex, bud? <laughs> I don't. Look, Tamberlene, maybe this is the wrong time to tell you. I love you, sweetie. Are you coming home now? Captain Brock, we don't live together. We've never had sex, but we don't even know each other, really. <laughs> You have to remember that. I love to eat crab legs in the buffet. <laughs> and you can't provide that for me. Well, then I'm leaving. I, I want you to leave. I told you that. I feel uncomfortable. Well, now I'm doing it. You got your way, Tamberlene. I'm flying off in about 30 minutes. You ain't never going to see me again if that's oh, the way you want it. I think I might. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. I think I might. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> no. That is not an invitation. All right. Have it your way. The airline changed their motto. It used to be fly the friendly skies. They've changed their whole marketing approach. Have they? And I think it kind of sums up the way I feel about you. Mommy loves her baby. I know mommy loves her baby, but... Does that turn you on when I'm your mommy? Well, no. Oh, mommy loves... Stop it. You want to breastfeed? No. <laughs> This is so against company rules. This is sexual har harassment. Don't you realize that? Only if somebody knows can't about it. Talk to a girl about about her pillows and crab legs and sex butt. It's, it's just a totally against company rules. I'm gonna have to report you. You better not. I'm gonna fill out a form. What we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> I don't really believe that. I think your intentions are clear. But I'm still going to write that to make you look not as bad. I still have the locket. The locket I gave you? It still bears the inscription that you gave me when you were an engraver. <laughs> Those are the days. We've had so many different <laughs> lives together. And yet we hardly know each other. Do you remember what it says inside? Well, you, I've, I've got one half and you've got the other, I hope. My I half hope. still says... I forgot to manscape you. Might not want to look down there. And my half says, and he spiked me. Give me a chicken salad sandwich. 